My name is Sean Konopinski and I'm the CEO of Nason. We are a boutique design and development studio with a focus on creating amazing mobile products. Thank you so much for taking the time to join our virtual session. Uh, we are really excited to talk about the experiences that we've had in creating apps for Windows and Windows Phone. We are a relatively small team of 25 of the industry's top designers, developers, and strategists. Being part of a small team uh, puts us in the lucky position uh, that we get to carefully consider the work that we take on. Despite being selective of the work that we do, we have had the opportunity to develop and design applications across all major platforms. Working on multiple platforms gives us the broad perspective of the strengths of each of the platforms and also gives us an understanding of how to best push the boundaries of each of the particular platforms to create the best possible experience. Given that Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 are relatively new platforms, we often find ourselves in positions where we're dealing with existing brands with strong applications on competitive platforms. The challenge then becomes to translate those brands and bring them to life on the Windows 8 and Windows Phone 8 platforms. There are a few ways we can approach this. Uh, the first way is create an entirely new experience made better by the platform. Some of the things that make the application special sometimes get lost in translation. So our approach is to look at what makes the application strong on those competitive platforms, start with that as the core, and then iteratively add platform-specific features that really enhance the experience and bring the application to life. This is the approach that we took for Tumblr. A lot of us were Tumblr users before we started working on the Windows Phone version. And I think we're all drawn to the service because of the simple and elegant approach they took to blogging. When we did some upfront research, along with a competitive analysis of Tumblr on other platforms, a few things really jumped out at us. Tumblr has a content-first approach. They work to make it as easy as possible for people to consume content on the go. Tumblr also makes sharing the things you love effortless. You can share whenever you want and wherever you are. There was also a few principles that we made sure to focus on while designing the app. We wanted to ensure that there was a lot of familiarity with the other platforms like web and mobile, since most people are generally using the service across multiple platforms. We also kept in mind that Tumblr is less about social media and more about making media social. Lastly, we knew how important it was to surface new content for people just getting started with Tumblr. Tumblr is first and foremost a reader app. So we thought about ways of maximizing the space so that more content is visible on screen. We achieved this by simply making the pivot header hide as you scroll down to view more content, but reappear as you scroll back up. You can also tap the header to bring yourself back up to the top. It's such a small solution, but it really makes a huge impact. Working directly with the design team at Tumblr was great because it helped us validate a lot of our upfront thinking. The team is so focused on the craft of design and producing things at the highest level possible that it forced us to make sure that the design that we were proposing lived up to their other work. The Tumblr dashboard is the thing that's the most consistent across all the different platforms. Whether it's on the web, the iPhone, or on Android, the dashboard reinforces the idea that content is king by keeping things simple, clean, and focused on showcasing whatever people post. The same logic applies to bringing rich imagery to the lock screen. Users can very simply use the manage page and access the lock screen settings to turn it on. If done properly, it provides a very cool visual that delights users each time they look at their device. While developing the Tumblr app, we were able to leverage a feature-rich and mature Microsoft.NET 4.5 environment. The Visual Studio IDE makes co-developing an app with the designer a breeze. Designers can easily design and share custom controls with developers using Expression Blend, 
allowing developers to focus on coding rather than spending time implementing design into controls themselves. Another advantage to developing with the .NET platform is that Microsoft is constantly updating it with new features. For example, using the Task Parallels library, we are able to take advantage of the phone's multiprocessor environment to separate backend tasks from the UI thread and make the app blazing fast. No Tumblr app would be complete without animated GIFs. However, there's currently no support for them right out of the box. We push the Windows Phone platform to the limit by creating a custom control that loads, decodes, and animates GIFs. The Windows Phone 8 SDK is an easy to use and mature development environment that played a huge factor in making the Tumblr app such a great success. Another thing that really makes Tumblr shine is the use of transitions and animations. We made use of these whenever possible but certainly not to overwhelm the user. So one example is the transitions between pages. We were able to add page flips and slides. Another example is when you're creating a post. As the keyboard comes up, the layout adjusts with it so it doesn't get lost underneath. Closing the keyboard adjusts the layout again so the user can view more of their post. The team at Tumblr has worked incredibly hard to make sure that only the most relevant actions and information are displayed alongside the posts on the dashboard. In order to translate these principles to Windows Phone, we needed to be sure that same level of consistency came across. In the Tumblr app for Windows Phone, the pivot control lets you switch seamlessly between the dashboard view and the explore view, two of the most important areas of the app. Keeping these screens a simple swipe gesture apart means that switching between them is easy and delightful. Using the pivot control in this way proved to be such an elegant solution that Tumblr actually implemented a similar approach in the latest version of their Android app. Being able to post anything at any time is one of the key philosophies of Tumblr. They've designed unique solutions for posting on each platform they're on, so we wanted to remain faithful to the idea on Windows Phone while still respecting some of the basic principles of the Windows platform. The Compose button lives in the app bar and so is always present on top of any piece of content you're viewing. It can be accessed at any point allowing you to post whenever the mood strikes. Keeping in line with other platforms, choosing a post type is very straightforward. Adding text, photos and videos right from your phone is quick and intuitive.